एवरीवन माय नेम इज कामिनी सिंह एंड दिस इज माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज फेसिलिटेट टू एजुकेट वे आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन योर लर्निंग प्रोसेस टू बिगिन विद वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एन टी नेट स्पेशली फॉर पेपर टू ऑफ इन्वामेंटल साइंसेज दैट विल ऑल्सो हेल्प यू इन पीपल डेवलपमेंट एंड इन्वामेंट सेक्शन ऑफ पेपर वन सो दिस इज द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टूडे एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड this video we'll be discussing about what is a smog we'll dis be discussing what are the types of smog and what is the difference between classical and photochemical smog we'll also discuss the real life examples like london smog for los angeles smog and we'll also talk about the delhi smog that happened in uh, 2019 winters so let us see first what is a smog so the combination of smoke and fog forms the smog as the name itself uh, is clear that it is the name is also a combination of smoke and fog and the uh, smog that is formed is also a combination of smoke and fog Exa uh, the definition says fog intensified due to smoke or other atmospheric pollutants we see fog basically in winters when that fog is intensified due to the atmospheric pollutants and the smoke that comes out of the chimneys or or from other places it is uh, forming the smog so there are two types of smog basically first is the classical smog and second is the photochemical smog we'll see the characteristics sources and effects of these one by one so firstly let us see the effect of um, and the uh, characteristics of classical smog it is also known as sulfurous smog london smog and industrial smog so it happened when the industrialization process was was beginning and in some places it was there but in those industries only coal was burned like coal was the main source of the energy that was produced so uh, coal when burned um, the sulfur is coming out of that so it is known as sulfurous smog industrial smog and it was identified mainly in london the london smog is very famous and it was a type of classical smog so it is also known as the london smog this can be asked in your exam that what are the uh, which of these is the name of classical smog and there may be one other name given and you have to choose the correct option second is it is brown in color basically the uh, fog that we see normally is uh, whitish in color but this fog this smog is brownish in color now it is reducing in nature reduction process is happening in this uh, type of smog so it is reducing in nature next is major constituents are smoke and fog it is the com it is the major constituent of all the smog and the main constituent here is so2 that is sulfur dioxide it can occur both in day and night it doesn't require light or anything else that it requires darkness it can occur both in the daytime as well as in the night time and last thing is it occurs where there is cold and humid climate where there is more moisture in the atmosphere and there is cold temperature then classical smog can happen very easily so we'll uh, discuss the main smog that is the main uh, place where classical smog happened that was in london it occurred in 1952 and more than 12000 people died in that the major reason was burning of coal as i have already told you london at that time was a industrial area and in the industries only coal was burned people were dependent on coal for other uh, practices as well and this burning of coal uh, gave out sulfur and due to that the london smog was formed you can see the brown this is not exactly the picture of london smog but just an example that this kind of smog is seen the brown color smog is seen and the sky is all filled up with this type of smog people cannot breathe and there are other problems as well and the weather conditions of london also intensified it the weather conditions of london are it is a cold region and it has a lot of moisture in the air that is it is a humid uh, it has humid conditions so due to that the london smog um, i guess occurred for more than 5 6 days and it killed more than 12000 people so next is the photochemical smog let us see what is the characteristics of photochemical smog the first is it is also known as los angeles smog so classical smog was known as the london smog and this is also known as the los angeles smog it is yellow in color 
and it is oxidizing in nature so everything is opposite to what happened in classical smog so you can um, easily identify the differences between the two then it occurs during the day so as you can see in the name it is photochemical it requires light to occur so it occurs in the day it will not occur at night classical smog can occur in day and night both then it is a combination of secondary as well as primary pollutants so it is a combination of secondary and primary pollutants we will see how it is formed and then you will understand what does this mean it occurs in a dry sunny weather and where gentle winds are blowing so uh, classical smog occurred in places where there was more moisture and cold but this uh, occurs where there is dryness in the atmosphere the weather is mostly sunny and there are gentle winds blowing so now we will discuss the Los Angeles smog that is an example of for photochemical smog. It occurred in the summer of 1943. The major reasons were vehicular pollution and the weather conditions. The weather conditions were dry. There was a uh, sun for most of the period of time and there were gentle winds blowing and the vehicular pollution is one of the reasons. We will see the formation of photochemical smog then we will understand why vehicular pollution. Why we are saying that the major reason was vehicular pollution. So now we will see how photochemical smog is formed. So the major constituent of photochemical smog is the nitrogen oxides. The major source of nitrogen oxides are the vehicles. So uh, as we said that the major reason for Los Angeles smog to occur was vehicular pollution. So as there is incomplete combustion in the vehicles, it uh, forms the nitrogen oxides. Second major thing that is required is volatile compounds, uh, organic compounds. Organic compounds are the compounds of um, carbon with um, oxygen, sulfur and other elements. So it is volatile in nature. These are ma the major sources are the paints, the glues and uh, also the petroleum. So all this is the major source of the photochemical smog to occur. And of course sunlight is also required as the name itself is clear that photo is uh, there in the name. So the major uh, requirements are the primary pollutants like the NOx that is nitrogen uh, oxides and also the VOCs that is volatile organic compounds. They combine or they react in the presence of sunlight and form the secondary pollutants like the ground level ozone and also PAN that is peroxyacetyl nitrate. So all these are the uh, major constituents of the photochemical smog. So these are also there in the photochemical smog. These are also the primary pollutants are also there as I have already told you that is it is a combination of primary as well as secondary pollutants so now we will see what happens exactly there is nitrogen dioxide uh, in the atmosphere and in the presence of sunlight it um, divides into nitrogen monoxide that is NO and a oxygen radical that is all very very reactive now the oxygen radical reacts with the oxygen molecule and it forms the ozone that is the ground level ozone that is the bad ozone we do not require that ozone and it is harmful for us but it is formed due to these processes and it is a part of the photochemical smog second is the pan how pan is formed so unburnt hydrocarbon is there which comes out from the vehicles and it combines with the ozone or nitrogen dioxide and it uh, the peroxyacetyl nitrate is formed which is also a constituent of the uh, photochemical smog this is the secondary pollutant that is there in the photochemical smog so now we'll see the effects the effects of both the um, photochemical and the classical smogs are almost same there is eyes nose and throat irritation and there is aggravated lung diseases and asthma is aggravated if you already have a respiratory disorder or a disease that will be aggravated that will be increased now uh, damage it damages the crops especially the ground level ozone it, it is very damaging to the crops and hence the yield is very less leads to cracking of rubber this is also called caused due to the ozone and then nitric um, acid formation it is a strong acid that causes acid rain so no2 that was there it helps in the formation it combines with the um, water and it helps in the formation of a very strong acid that causes the acid rain so these are all the effects of the smog now we'll talk about the smog that happened in Delhi in the year uh, 2019 in the winter of 2019 
the major reasons behind that were burning of crop fields as you must have heard in the news that the parali burning was the main reason for this so what is parali it is nothing but the field that is left after the uh, harvest of the crop fields like this it looks something like this so in order to uh, grow the next crop you just need to either you need to burn it or you uh, have certain machines which can clear your crop field so uh, the farmer said that they, we do not have that much of money to um, buy that machine or uh, to do other stuff but we can only we only have the option to burn it second are the weather conditions and the wind direction so what happened was the wind was blowing from punjab and haryana to delhi and the weather conditions of uh, punjab and haryana were such that the wind was blowing um, at high speeds and the wind went to delhi the weather conditions of delhi also helped the wind to just stop there it didn't go to the next state or the next state it just stopped in delhi and the already present pollutants also helped the uh, smog to intensify that is the smog uh, that that is the pollutants that were present due to the vehicular pollution in delhi because of which the odd even rule was followed so all these conditions when combined together the delhi is a cold place and in winters also it has certain uh, time period where uh, sun is there and dry conditions are there so all these things combine together and they form the smog in delhi that was um, really bad in the year 2019 so uh, i hope you can tell me in the comment section that which type of uh, smog is this is it a classical smog or the uh, photochemical smog that smog that happened in delhi so i'll wait for your comments in the comment section and that is all for today so thank you so much i hope you have understood the difference between the two types of smog really well and if you have not subscribed yet you can subscribe to my channel and you can hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update and you can like the video if you have liked it, it if it has helped you understand the concept and you can also uh, share it with your friends who are preparing for ugc net or for the competitive exams because this topic is really important for other competitive exams as well so thank you so much